Hi there, everyone. Hello, hello. Good morning, how are we? I am here today to talk a little bit about what I am calling healthy mommy mindset. So what do I mean? Well, I think it is so important that we consider our mindset in terms of um, shifting our habits into a healthier realm. I know I'm 42 years old and I grew up in a certain paradigm, which really is that old, right? 40 years old, in terms of what we considered or what we were taught was healthy. So we're looking back at the classic pyramid structure that the government um, proposed. Of course, it was heavily influenced by the food industry that had a very long and thick um, bar of carbohydrates, which included all sorts of things that I would never um, recommend to my clients now in terms of um, process like any type of bread, any type of pasta, any type of grain, uh, didn't matter if it was processed or not. Okay, so nine to 11 servings of, of carbohydrates. Now we have flipped this and uh, I was, I think it's interesting because in terms of uh, we as women are often very aware, very conscious of how we should be eating in order to lose weight, but we haven't really integrated or made that connection in terms of teaching our children, like, okay, if this is how I need to eat to keep my weight at a decent or, or even maybe lose weight, but certainly maintain my ideal weight, I need to do X, Y, Z. Well, then why am I not making that the basis of, of my, um, the diet that I'm teaching? Mod I mean, I'm modeling it to my kids, but not as what they should be doing. And, and I think it's so important that we understand that we are now very aware, and this to me goes is maybe number one in terms of healthy mummy mindset, is understanding uh, the new science on epigenetics. Okay, so when I grew up, uh, let's say, what would that be like 25 years ago when I learned biology, there was 50 50 percent of um, environment versus genetics, is what we were taught, um, was, was affecting us as an organism, was, was, um, dictating, that's the word I'm looking for, are what our health projection or, or spectrum for the life would be, meaning there was all sorts of genetic diseases or as they thought, di di genetically um, informed diseases, chronic diseases. However, the new science, last 10, um, 20 even, but certainly 10 years, we are extremely sure it is completely fact that your lifestyle has a way more to do than whatever genetic map you were born with okay so think in fact i think it's the perfect metaphor that your genetics are like a map meaning there are many many roads to go down on any or paths to go down on any given map which path you go down is completely or if not like way more than 50%, I would say 70 to 80% dictated by your lifestyle. And that means all sorts of factors in terms of your stress level, your um, prioritization of sleep, and then of course, everything you consume, not just food and beverage. We're talking about um, the video content you consume, what you're reading, who you're spending time with, uh, who you're working with, all those things build up toxins, whether they are physical or energetic in the body, and influence which path our body goes down on our genetic map, if you will. So that's to say, let's say uh, you have um, cancer or type 2 diabetes or heart disease in the family, right? So 20, 30 years ago, it was like, oh, well, it's in my family. I'll just, you know, take, I'll mitigate the symptoms with um, over-the-counter or prescription drugs because inevitably I'm going to get that. Now we understand what's more accurate is that you inherited the bad habits and the bad uh, or the unhealthy li lifestyle of the previous generation or the previous 10 generations. That's what's being passed down more accurately than some sort of genetic uh, indicator in your cells. So what does that mean? For me, it's so important that I teach moms 
that they have the power to dictate a healthy life for their children or to not make it a priority and ultimately let allow their children to be much more influenced by outside um, information, which is everywhere in terms of um, ads they might be seeing. Fortunately now, like, I, not, I don't see, my children don't see ads like I did watching cartoons every Saturday morning, you know, there's, they're watching Netflix, but um, it's everywhere in terms of, you know, even that they do take them to the grocery store and they're immediately, of course, drawn to all the processed foods that have cartoon characters on them that are full of crap. They're full of high fructose corn syrup or some other artificial sweetener, um, cancer con causing dyes, and a bunch of other chemicals to preserve the processed food that you don't need in your system that inevitably is, is, is weighing you down literally or figuratively. And um, basically your body will build up tolerance. So it's important to be aware that you start young. You start young so that they don't have a tolerance to highly processed foods that they think McDonald's, for example, tastes like cardboard or um, whatever it is that, I mean, there's so many things, Kraft mac and cheese, like I can't even have a spoonful of it anymore. I used to, there was parts, parts of my university life, for example, I almost lived off that crap and now it just doesn't taste like food. So it's um, important, I think, getting back to my term that I think is um, going to be key, healthy mummy mindset. So as a mother, I think of longevity for myself to reach as many important events in my children's life as, as I can, because I was 30 plus when I had both my kids. So it's kind of like a different world, you know, like hopefully if they're 35, 40 plus when they get married, I don't, you know, I want to be there for the grandchildren. So that's part of my plan, but a huge part of my plan is modeling for them what is true healthy behavior and the empowering them to make those decisions for themselves that inevitably they have control of the trajectory of their health span, not their lifespan, their health span. And, and there's nothing more important than that. So I will leave you with that, this little um, Tuesday check-in. I hope you're well wherever you are in the world. And if you want to contact me and learn more about how I teach moms to install really healthy, sustainable uh, routines into their homes, I'm always interested to connect with new people. So you can find me through my website, meganswanwellness.com, or um, I'm very active in Instagram at meganswanwellness. So I'll leave it at that. Bye for now.